Well, you know, there, there, there's a, some kind of distinction between New York poets and, and New York school, but um, that was my, uh, a large part of my education, you know. Uh, and I mean, I studied with Kenneth Koch. I was close friends with Frank O'Hara. Uh, I, uh, I always have been crazy about uh, John Ashbery's poetry. Uh, James Schuyler, whose poetry was revealed later, it's very important. So that, that was sort of hometown. And also it was in New York, and I grew up in New York. Right there with the poets like Ashbery and O'Hara and Koch, um, that was the time when um, the so-called New American Poetry appeared. And that was a, a, a welcome shock because um, Let's see, I, start, I, I wrote my first poem, I was in high school, uh, it was around 1955. And about a year later, um, and I began to be interested really what's going on now. And uh, an anthology came out called the New, the New Poets of England and America. And uh, to tell the truth, it was so dismal. Uh, uh, it was like what we, affectionately in those days called boring academic poetry. I thought, if that's the way it is, if this is the way it is, maybe it's not the time to be a poet. Uh, and uh, luckily, very soon after, um, well, very soon after, in my experience, uh, what was available uh, was the Beat Generation hit. And uh, so there was Howell on the road more to my taste, Subterraneans of Jack Kerouac. Kerouac's poems, Gregory Corso. And that was suddenly this fresh air came in. 